Hello everybody, my name is Edwin. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. In these video series, I've been going over GitLab, its features. I've been doing that by implementing a workflow from start to finish, something that's good for small to medium sized organizations. If you like this type of content, please hit the subscribe button. It'll give you all of our videos inside of the subscription feed. Um, please remember to like the video, it helps us out in the algorithm, and if you guys have any questions or comments while going through this video, leave them in the comments down below and I'll make sure to get to all of them. Alright, so in this video, uh, we're going to get started with creating a CICD pipeline. In the last video, we created an epic to keep ourselves organized, and we have a bunch of issues inside of that epic, um, so we're going to get started on working on this. We can go over to our list and we can pick an issue that we want to get started with. So I'm going to start reading through these and decide which one I want to get started with. Um, we could start with some code. That might be good. Uh, PyTask, Flake 8, Forge, da 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 um, I think what I'm going to start with is creating a pipeline that runs PyTest. So I'm going to go into this issue here and I am going to assign this to myself. I can go to the drop down here or I can just click this assign to myself button. And if I go into the boards, uh, don't think, yeah, this is work planning. I could have also just drag and dropped into there. I'm going to do two things at the same time. Uh, I'm going to do this and I think I'm going to do the we need some code uh, issue. I think I can get both of those done in one video. Alright, so let's get started here. The first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a test directory. I'm going to call it tests and I create another one called src or source. Test is going to be where we're going to house our tests, and source is going to be where we house our source. Also, going to want to create two files. The first one is going to be the GitLab CI YAML. You can, so in here, all I did was I clicked the predefined one. You can type it out all here, but um, I just did the predefined. And I think we need a have it written here in my notes. It's a dot coverage RC file. Dot coverage RC coverage. Hold on, wait. Yeah, I have that right. And I'm going to create that file in our coverage RC. I am going to put in some code in here for the HTML. I want the directory to equal coverage. So this is where we're going to save a coverage report. I'll show this off in a minute. And then also report. So in the report configuration, I want to exclude exclude lines equals and if I think we need a tab in there if name equals name. and semicolon there <laughs> actually we didn't do for some reason they use periods here, so I'm going to do that, if name equals name, and for some reason there's an extra if there. Alright, that'll be good for our coverage. So going back over this, the HTML directory coverage, this is where we're going to save a coverage report. A coverage report is um, just a breakdown of all the tests that we ran and um, all the lines of code that ended up being run. So we know that these lines of code didn't 
run and they haven't been tested and these lines of code have been run and they have been tested and it gives us a report and a way of visualizing that. Um, the report here we're going to exclude if name equals main. Um, that's because whenever we're doing a unit test it's not very easy to test this because we're running it as um, a library and we're not running it as an actual script. All right, so let us go into our source directory. I'm going to make a new file and I'm going to call it main.py. And let's create that file. And in here, I'm going to say main and uh, I mean, I should say def main. Let's pass that and then. if name equals and we do want the double quotes and we want to run main all right so here we have a def main pass so we're just not going to do anything and if name equals main I want to run that main function. All pretty easy stuff. In our test, I'm going to write one called test underscore main dot py. I'm going to say, let me look at that test. I have it in my notes here. I believe I say, yes, from src the src directory main import main uh, main like that and we're going to do def test main and none this will work later these are type hints I'm saying that this is going to return nothing and I want to assert that main is none, right, yep, that is correct. And now let's actually do our GitLab CI.yaml file. So gitlabci.yaml, this is the file that controls our entire CI-CD pipeline. So uh, stages, I believe, let me pull it up just so that I have my notes. Yes, stages, and right now we're only going to have one stage and it's going to be test. And we're going to have one job called unit, 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 unit test. Right. It's going to be part of the stage test. That's right. Um, image Python 3.9, and there has to be a colon here. Uh, script pip install pytest and pytest cov right, cov yep that's correct and python run module pytest minus minus cov report equals html and minus minus cov src actually cov equals src and we want to run everything to fact Um, 
will keep set, expires in 30 days. I'm going to erase this. I just tabbed and it auto completed for me, which I didn't know that that was a thing, but I'm going to use it anyway. Path coverage. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a we're going to make a artifact from the path coverage. And if you remember in our coverage, we are going to save our coverage report to this directory here called coverage. And I think if I run this, we will have our working CICD pipeline. So I'm going to commit this and I'm doing this all on the fly, so hopefully it'll all work. When I commit it, you're going to see this new thing come up here. It's a pending pipeline, pending for uh, my user. This is my commit, and now it's running. I can go in here. I can click on my unit test. This is all going to show up here in the CICD area, so I'm going to show this off a little bit. I can go into pipelines. I can see my running pipeline. I can see that I'm running a job. So you have a pipeline and inside of your pipeline you have jobs and here's a job that's running. And what's going to happen here is that it's going to grab a Docker image for Python 3.9 and then it's going to run, if I can go back to our files and look at our CICD, it's going to run these scripts inside of that Docker image. It's going to install PyTest and PyTest Cov, and then it's going to run um, this PyTest. And it did. So we see that Python tag M coverage report runs. It ran a test. All my tests passed. Um, saved our coverage report, and then it uploaded that artifact. And now, I can actually see a job artifact here. I can decide to download it, keep it for a longer period of time. If you saw here, we set a expires in 30 days. I can then browse it. I can look at coverage and I can open up that index.html. And now I see that I have my entire coverage report here. I can look at the source. And I can see I have two lines that I excluded, if you remember. And then I have two lines that passed. This test passed because we're not returning anything here. So it's going to pass our assertion. And there we go. Now we have our full coverage report. We have our first job in our pipeline. And we can close out those two issues. So let's go to our board. And we go into development. Oh, I never put these into progress, so let's do that real quick. Move them into, uh, I'm just going to move them into in review. And create a pipeline for PyTest. And, you know, we're going to do our whole thing. This looks good. And I'm going to close it. So. I could have made a branch for all of these. And that might have been the greatest way of going about it. Right? You see that I can create a merge request uh, out of this, and then that would also create a branch for that merge request. I just it worked all on mainline here. And that's something called trunk based development. Um, it's really what I feel like most people should try to aim for. Um, you have different kinds of development pipelines. You have like um, um, the Git flow, there's like GitLab flow, feature flow based development, and then trunk based development, which is that you, you want to be working on master. You still end up creating branches and there's a lot more to it. And um, my pipeline right now really isn't set up to be doing trunk-based development. If I was writing out features right now, uh, my pipeline would not be in a place where I would feel comfortable actually doing trunk-based development, where I could do all my work on the master branch. 
But since I know kind of what I'm doing and um, right now there's not much that I can mess up, I did it that way. But uh, the best practice would have been to create a uh, merge request and then make a branch, a feature branch, work on that feature branch and then merge it once my work is done. But uh, yeah, so that is the first step in this. Let's see how much time that took us. That took us around 13 minutes. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, so remember guys, if you like this kind of content and you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. It really does help the channel out. Your videos, our videos will end up in your subscription feed. Um, hit that like button. It really does help the channel out. And also if you guys have any questions about this stuff, I'm always reading the comments down below. So leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out as best I can. Thanks for watching. Have a great one guys.